Oh, hey. Once again, you're right here hanging with your boy. <clears throat> Billy Terrell. You ain't gonna take my word for it. You watching Jail Malone TV. Jail Malone TV. I'm just Jeff here with today. Uh, we've been blessed to get the wonderful comedian, Mr. Billy Sorrells. What's going on? Uh, for those who don't know, can you let them know how long you've been doing stand up comedy? Uh, this is year seven for me. Seven years in the game of comedy. Oh man, that's what's up. Where are you from? Originally from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Raised right here in Houston, Texas. Okay. Boom, bell. Uh, so I know uh, we just came out, you did your thing on the stage, you really did, uh, I know I, I got on stage too, I, I wasn't there too long, they booed me, you know what I'm saying, shout out to the Apollo, you know, it'd be like that sometime. Uh, just from that happening though, uh, have you ever been booed on stage before? Man, hey, if you're a real comedian, you work through, you've been and faced everything. I've faced boos, ahs, silence, it, it's all a part of growing and understanding this craft and perfecting what it is we're doing, and it's, it's comedy, it's tough, it's not for everybody, and uh, it's definitely something to work from. It's not. It's not a stopping point tonight for sure. It's just tonight to say, hey, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna keep pushing and get up next time. And this is what it's about, you know. Already. Uh, so, like, uh, what made you want to go into comedy? Um, what did you? Like, I just. I want to stand. I used to watch stand up with my pops all the time, and I, in my head, I would come to school and repeat the jokes. I used to get in trouble for that all the time, uh -huh. saying stuff. And and then it was. It, I didn't understand that that's what I wanted to do. And then it took time, and then gradually one day I realized, hey, this is what I'm gonna try and take my hand at, and I tried it, and uh, it's something I've been loving and doing ever since. Okay, already. And uh, real quick, uh, wrapping up, uh, any advice that you just want to give to any up and coming comics out there? Uh, put your chin strap on. It's uh, it's not a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. See. I have one more question. Uh, I'm gonna edit this how you want to. Oh. Uh, how you feel like what it is with like hip hop, like being a rapper and a comedian, the similarities and the differences? In um, game, I know? think both of them are things where everybody feels they have an opinion upon. Um, both of them are very hard to break into. Both of them are very saturated with people. So, you know, the big thing about comedy and music, rap music specifically, or hip hop, is to define who you are and what you represent and what your character is and what you stand for and what your style is. And once you do that, you're going to find your fan base. And uh, like like any of those things, they both take a lot of hard work and perseverance. And it's not it's not something that you get overnight. It just doesn't happen that way. Boom, bad. That's real. But once again, man, I want to appreciate you for coming out. No problem. Yeah, I'll take it easy. Yeah. Having Toes, DJ Toes, know your name. Having Mr. Rogers, know your name. It's like, oh, it's my boy. It's just the DJs. It's like the DJ Hall of